Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today in this video I'm going to tell you about an amazing library text block and how we can do some really cool NLP stuff using the same. So let's begin with the video. So for those of you who don't know what NLP is, so NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. This is a subset of AI which enables computer to understand, interpret and manipulate human natural language it contains many libraries like all of this and for this video we'll be only focusing on the text block library which is my personal favorite so let's jump directly into our code editor and start coding so the first thing that I'm going to tell you is correcting the spellings. Often people tend to do a lot of typos. In this case, the text blob library can come pretty handy. Let's take a look at the program and see how it works. So in the first line of this code, we have just imported the text blob library. For that, you has to have it installed before. You can just do a pip install text blob. It will get the job done. We have taken the import for a string which has a lot of typos. And next we are going to call the text blob library for this variable that we have just created and correct it using the correct function and in the last we are just printing the output so if i run this program now as you can see our output string has no typos like our input string so this is how you can check the typos and correct it using text blob just in few lines of code So whenever we want to do some manipulation of natural language processing using computer, we generally have to extract a lot of things from the sentence. Out of which, one important thing is extraction of nouns and text blob is perfect for this type of task. So just like before, we have imported the library and we have taken the input as nouns. It has a string from which you want to extract the nouns. In the next line, we have taken a for loop to iterate through each of the word in the string so we can check whether this word is a noun or not. So for checking that we have used noun phrases. So if I run this program now, you can see we have got the output as India and Asia because these are only two words which are noun in this string. The sentiment analysis so this one is pretty interesting so for those of you who don't know what sentiment analysis is it is the process of computationally identifying and categorizing opinions expressed in a piece of text as positive negative or neutral so in order to determine whether the writer's attitude towards particular topic or it can be a product review is positive negative or neutral so it is pretty useful technique many companies use this sentiment analysis to analyze the user reviews so just like before we have imported the text blob library for sentiment analysis we need one more library called naive bias analyzer and next to show you the both positive and negative classification of this library i have taken two sentences as inputs so the first sentence is this movie is excellent which is quite positive response and we have called the analyzer to analyze this sentence and while printing it just to get a better output we are saying that text dot sentiments it will return a tuple which contains the outputs from this analyzer and same thing we have done with the second string which hopefully get categorized as a negative comment it says the movie story pinch me a lot so let's run the code and see how it works all right so here we got the output it says the first input is classified as positive response and here is the score of both positive and negative classification so these scores are basically range between 0 to 1 the more it closer to 1 the more chances to get classified as a positive response and the more it get closer to the 0 the chances increases of getting classified as negative response So the next is antonym and synonym. So whenever we want to know the antonyms or synonyms of a word, we either look up to the word in a dictionary which is a quite old school or nowadays we just google to do the job for us. So if you have ever wondered how google does this and able to search our queries then yes they also use NLP for this and text blob can do same for us here. So here we have imported the word module from this library and we have taken input as word and the input is danger. So we are going to find the antonyms of danger and here from the lemonizer we have called the antonyms function and then we are just going to find the antonyms for the input that we have just taken and at last we are just going to print the antonyms so if i run this program now you can see right here it gives me output as safety which is definitely the antonym of danger so you can repeat the same process for synonyms and try it yourself
so the last but not the least the language detection and translation this is by far the best part of this library so as the name suggests yes we can actually detect the language and can translate just in a few lines of code so here we have imported the text blob library and then we have taken a variable blob which actually stores the input sentence and then to detect the language i have written print blob dot detect language and it will give me a word of two letters as output showing that what language it is and to translate i have used blob dot translate and here inside the parenthesis i have given the language code in which i am going to translate the input sentence so the first is hi and second is fr which stands for hindi and french so let's run the code and see how it works so here you can clearly see that it has given me the output as en which is english and yes it is a english sentence and next we have translated it into hindi and now it says mera naam montu keshwar hai instead of my name is montu keshwar and next it has translated it into french which i am not going to pronounce so yes that's it for today's video and i hope you enjoyed watching it and if you learned anything new today from this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to never miss another update thank you